Panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta, just to throw me in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies. Hello and welcome to you all once again in Learn More YouTube channel. Today again I am here with one new Q Basic program, which is write a program to enter your name and display it ten times. Okay, let's get into the program. CLS that helps to clear the screen now at first we are going to enter our name by using input statement input double mother command enter your name you can use your own sentence inside double mother command semicolon then after we have to use a string variable why a string variable because we are going to store alphabet so we have to use a string variable okay after entering then what we are going to do is we are going to use looping statement why looping statement because we are going to display our name 10 times so we are going to use a loop statement before using a loop statement i would like to explain something about loop what is loop loop is a set of instructions that allows us to repeat the block of a statement to the given number of times or until the given condition is satisfied that is called looping or loop now let me use for loop as you can see in the question we are going to display our name 10 times so for for i i is one numeric variable that stores number 1 to 10 why 1 to 10 because we are going to display our name 10 times if we were going to display our name 20 times then we use here for i is equal to 1 to 20 now what i'm gonna do is now after using this for statement now i'm going to print 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 name dollar now let me explain now a little bit about this loop after typing this okay now you can see here for i is equal to 1 to 10 the value of i is now 1 and this is your condition for i is equal to 1 to 10 now and print name dollar we have given why we have given print name dollar because we are going to display our name 10 times and see here at first at first the value of i became one what i told earlier looping is a set of statement that allows us to repeat the statement this is your statement print name dollar is your statement it helps to repeat this statement this given statement print name dollar until the given condition this is your condition for i is equal to 1 to 10 is your condition this is your block of statement now what is looping looping is a set of instructions that allows us to repeat the block of statement this block of statement will be repeated until the given this condition is satisfied okay let me explain it more practically at first the value of i is one now what happens now it will save the condition for i is equal to one to ten yes condition is satisfied 1 to 10 now this block of statement will be executed it means print name dollar whatever name you enter it is printed one time now again the value of i will increase by one next i means value of i will be increased by one before it was one now it becomes two after executing this statement next i the value of i became two now again it will go up and it will check the condition for i is equal to one to ten yes the condition is satisfied again it will do print name dollar whatever name you enter it will be 
displayed in your output screen. Now again the value of i is increased by 1 by next i statement. Now the value of i became 3. Again it set the condition for i is equal to 1 to 10. Yes condition is satisfied. Again it will display print name dollar means whatever name you enter it will display. Again the value of i is increased by 1 by using next i statement. Now it became 4. Again, it check the condition. In the same way, condition is satisfied, it will display. In the same way, the value of i is increased by 1. Now, it will be 5. Again, it checks the condition. And the condition is satisfied and it display the name. In the same way, this looping runs up to 10 times. When the value of i became 11, Then the condition is not satisfied, then it will be this looping will be ended. End. In the same way, we got our name 10 times by using this looping statement. Why how 10 times? Because we are using here for loop up to 10 times for i is equal to 1 to 10. If we are going to display our name 20 times then we have to use for i is equal to 1 to 20. Hope you understood this QBasic program that helps to display our name 10 times. Okay, let's run this by pressing F5 from keyboard. Enter your name. Let me enter name. Let me enter RAM. RAM. Now you can see RAM displaying over there 10 times 10 times in this way you can you can display your name 10 times once again let me display sita sita now you can see sita displaying 10 times in this way you can write qbasic program to display your name 10 times. Hope you understood the QBasic program. If you have any confusion, you can comment below. And if you are new in this YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.